Hello YouTube, this is Oliver from NEO and today I'm gonna show you how to brew cold brewed green tea. For this we have taken or I've taken a Gyokuro from Mr. Sakamoto. It's a very fresh vegetable tea, smell of really green grass, some asparagus and Fresh cut, fresh cut summer grass mixed uh, with some uh, cucumber smell, so uh, really nice tea also to do on hot brewing. But today, my um, the idea is that really I show you how easy cold brewing is. So let's have a look. If you have a, a bottle at home or something, you can also uh, use a filter. Um, uh, either a tea bag filter or you even have a filter bottle. This one here is a really nice one. It's from uh, the brand Ario in Japan and uh, they actually have uh, in filter in the bottle so it actually takes off the leaf when you pass through the water. So we have this bottle. If you don't have a bottle like this you can also put just loose leaf tea um, in, uh, in the bottle or in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in some, some kind of a bowl and then you put in the water and when you take it out you just filter it with a, a kitchen with something uh, you have in your kitchen just normally you don't need absolutely this, uh, this bottle here but this bottle is definitely it's around uh, 30 euros uh, about 40 dollars to buy so actually you can, uh, you can buy it um, uh, wherever you are in the tea shops as they get more and more famous these filter bottles and I'm sure you can find much cheaper. Um, so then we take the Gyokuro as I said cold brewing is really really simple um, actually what what is happening in the cold brewing is that the tea needs in cold water a little bit more time to extract and due to the fact that you open up a longer time window um, you have especially tannins and catechins which are more or less the bitter uh, which are more the bitter particles in the tea they don't get extracted as fast or even not at all or on a very 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 low level that's why also you can brew cold brew green tea during the night but here I really want to show you that after 10 minutes you can make your cold brew tea. So I put in here 5 grams, so it's a normal uh, portion which I normally use to do uh, hot water, so you don't need at all uh, more tea uh, than for no normal brewing, you see it here, so not so many leaves. Then you take uh, cold water, I filtered it here a little bit, but you can also take a bottle of water and you just fill up. I always do around a half a liter of water. I put it in here and then I really wait a small amount of time here. It's, uh, this is the beautiful play of green tea, what green tea does when it is cold, when cold water is in. And so we leave it now for uh, 10 minutes. So actually the tea is done now. After 15 minutes uh, we are ready uh, to drink it. So what you can see and what I like is that you swirl the, the tea a little bit so more of the extraction comes out. After 15 minutes, I swirled it now a little bit the water. You can see that uh, it is after 10 minutes already ready. So we can drink it and pour it into the cup. So just to see how beautiful the color is. So you already can see that the color got really intense. There's this greenish golden color, which is known for this tea. And uh, you, really got, uh, you really got all the extractions, or it seemed all the extraction already done. Let's have a sip how it is in taste. It's amazing. After 10 minutes only, there's a lot of sweetness uh, in, the, in the tea. 
and actually what you can uh, what you can see is that you really have here a special tea which has a much lower energy it seems to me that it's like, like this high energy and this really strong um, it's strong of the hot water it's not this activating so it's much more a lower energy uh, and uh, has a kind of a low effect it also seems that the taste is more in the lower part of the mouth and not evolving in the whole mouth maybe through to the hold uh, to the cold water so actually um, here you also have and this is important about cold brew green tea no caffeine in it so this tea for example which is a high caffeinated tea and uh, normally this you drink in the morning with a hot cup of water and it really gives you a strong energy this one here I drank it uh, yesterday in the evening as well as a cold brew and you can sleep like a baby because the caffeine really stays in the leaves and doesn't get extracted into the water neither do the tannins so you have a smooth sweet vegetable tea with no caffeine so this is what i like and especially green tea is known to have a positive effect on your body as it in hot summer days it cools down the body a little bit so it's not only a relaxing uh, drink due to the uh, theanine which is in the water it is not only a no caffeine drink so but it also helps to cool down the body in the hot temperatures of summer so a cold brew green tea is definitely a good choice here i took now a high quality green tea but the good thing is also that you can take a little bit of a lower quality green tea i did it once so there uh, when you have a kind of a more astringent tea you can even put it in hot water uh, in cold water and then it gets less astringent with uh, with the taste sometimes call a lower quality green tea a little bit need a little bit more time but when you go like for a good green tea there 10 minutes 15 minutes and your cold brew green tea is done so with this i let you into the day and we're gonna drink some more of this wonderful tea